Hi everyone, it's Crafty Kathy here with Stash Dive Tuesday. And I'm going to start with this photo that I have printed on um, uh, 12 by 12 card, uh, uh, 12 by 12 photo paper. Um, it's the other side of a print that I hadn't sized correctly. Uh, this was uh, Scrappy Adams version of scrapping my photos with our scrap backwards kits, <laughs> something we did last week. And so I, I didn't like it, but I saved the other side for, um, for another photo. So that's the, the great thing. Of, that's why I always buy two-sided photo paper, um, tips and tricks. Um, this is a photo that my son took on January 16th, the day it snowed. <laughs> and, you know, probably for the next two or three years, we'll be saying, you know, that day it snowed, January 16th because that's not an everyday kind of thing or every winter kind of thing. Um, this is a park that's just kind of across the street and down a block from our house. And it's, he went for a run there because he's fascinated by snow. He loves it. <clears throat> and he loves taking pictures. I used a filter or a filtering program uh, called Prisma, and it has some brand new uh, frames and backgrounds and, and things. And I what I played with was one that, that kind of framed the photo, and I can see little bits of the frame there, which kind of gave it those um, kind of random edges. And this is a reflection of the tree in the icy ground below it. Something very unusual. Even if it snows, we usually don't see that. And that was a result of the fact that it got cold enough to snow. It rained first. The, then it got too cold to snow and the rain froze. And then the next day it warmed up. And as it warmed up, then it snowed some more. So <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, what I have here before me <laughs> are, there's this little bowl of random stuff that came from a million places. And as I use it, I'll tell you, this is just the cutest little baby penguin that I've ever seen. And it came in a Bramble Fox, Fox box um, set. And I'm, there are two of them, and I'm using only one today because I want about a thousand of them. So I'll have to talk to Morag about that. But, uh, and I have a few, I have a, a, a title. I think this may be from um, a couple winters ago. We don't get much call for, you know, for using winter embellishments. But this was kind of off by itself, and it had already been peeled on the back, so I'm, I'm thinking I started to use it um, a while back. So I'm gonna use it now. I have some January flare from Dottie and then there are a whole bunch of just miscellaneous things, including I have a turtle because right over here <laughs> is the turtle pond where um, Ava used to just love to go by and, and watch the turtles as they'd swim up and sun themselves on rocks and maybe climb up onto the uh, grass. These are crazy turtles. They like people. And when they see people standing on the side for a while, they come out of the water. They swim over to the edge and come out of the water and, you know, work their <laughs> little little bodies up the embankment to, to where they're standing. And it's also where we returned. There was a turtle that kind of showed up in our yard one time and Ava named him Lucky Cheese and uh, wanted to keep him and, and was good about feeding him lettuce and a few things like that. But we convinced her that he really needed to be back at the turtle pond with his cousins. And so we made a big production of taking her down there. I think she was maybe five or six at the time. And 
<clears throat> so we she we took her down there and she let him go and so for years after that every time we'd pass by that pond she'd want to go see if if lucky cheese was there so we made up stories about lucky cheese you know, getting married to that cute little turtle that was over on the other side, and um, that a lot of these smaller ones that we were seeing were probably their kids, and, you know, we had all these, and, and she used to ask me, do you think Lucky Cheese <laughs> is happy? And so, yeah. I also have, in addition to that, I, I just grabbed a couple of sticker sheets of very different uh, winter um, stickers, uh, this one is Simple Stories Freezing Season, and this one is Doodlebug uh, Frosty Friends. And I have had papers to go with both of these, I think, but I no longer do, so they become uh, usable sticker sheets. I also have this tray, which is a conglomeration of flowers left over, stamped flowers that I did, and a whole bunch of Rosie Studio stuff. And I see this is some Paige Evans. And absolute, and then here's my own little die cut. There's absolutely nothing off limits here because my feeling is I want to go completely around. Oh yeah, forgot. I also have, and. So this is, um, these are some fussy cut um, butterflies from a cocoa vanilla collection. I don't know which. And this is a blue flower from cocoa vanilla. I don't know. I think that must be a piece of ephemera, but it might be a fussy cut because I cut the border around mine. And then I have these um, kind of, these sticker sheets from Vicki Booten's color study. I, and I don't know what, I, I'm, I'm liking the good good there and the smile a lot. And there are lots of different things there that I may or may not use. So I'm just gonna hold those handy. And what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm just gonna put that in there. Well, no, I'll put it over in here. What I'm gonna do is try to go completely around the border of this with an, and work down to the, the photo. And if the icon is a winter icon, like a, a penguin or a, a snowman or a frosty tree like this, then I don't have to explain the reason behind it. If, on the other hand, it's a tropical leaf or a um, sunshiny summer image or an airplane or a globe, that just means that's what I'm dreaming of. In the freezy winter time, I'm dreaming of when it's not going to be freezy anymore. So I figure everything works. And so I'm going to just go about it. And if some things end up, Upside down, I'm going to try to maybe pay some attention to making sure things don't get upside down. So right now, I'm just going to start slapping things on. Starting with, where's my cute little penguin? I'm just going to make him my first. Oh, and this is something I found on the floor under... Um, the couch, <laughs> don't ask me, um, when I was doing some organizing. And it's kind of flimsy because it's been, it was bent, but I'm gonna maybe try to use that and maybe I might do this one like that and put my, put that little guy there. So I'm not going to start with the penguin. I'm going to start with the film strip. And then I may have this one coming down. You know, I might use the rest of that one, but we don't know. We, we, haven't, we haven't decided yet. So I'm going to get my glue out, and I'm just going to go to town. Um, I have... 
lots and lots of possibilities here. And I want it to be, um, this is a quiet and serene uh, photo. And the page could be quiet and serene, you know, if I were a normal person. But I'm not. I love quiet and serene. Quiet and serene have a have a place in uh, scrapbooking and in life. Um, but that's not what I wanted to do for a Stash Dive Tuesday, which is kind of all about random items. Now, one thing I have that I thought might be kind of cute, I see this little XOXO, so I thought I might put that guy on there, and that immediately adds just a pop of color. And it kind of somewhat fits. I'm going to put it at an angle there. And that's our start. So, <laughs> so, so here we begin. And I have, there is in on this sticker sheet, this little purple bird with... Um, earmuffs on. And again, you can't get much cuter than that. So it looks like at least at the start, I'm going for the cute little images and I'm kind of violating my, my own rule to myself that I didn't necessarily share with you which was that I was going to go ahead and put the big things around, make sure the the big things were lined up and around the um, perimeter there, and then I was going to put little things on. So I'm going to stick that kind of right there and then see what we can do. Now, I know that when I get an image like this, that is um, that doesn't have an upside or a downside. I that's the kind of image I should kind of start using up at the top there. So I can do that, and then I thought also kind of in areas where things were long. I could have a little tag, a little upside down tag, and maybe I put a tiny little bit. I don't want to make a big production of the the twine there, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit in it, and I'm going to staple it if I can grab hold of my stapler here. Okay, and now I need to grab my bucket of foam and find a piece that will hold it up maybe down at the uh, at the bottom and i know i have a tape runner here or i guess this is up at the top this is going to be at the top so i put the foam in the wrong place so let me put some down there in the right place and it'll just be propped up on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna go here.
And that is kind of, that's, looks like it's looking, it's just looking for a cute little purple bird, don't you think? So we'll put that there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this here just flat. And then I can layer things over it if I want. I'm gonna turn this to the side so that I can be sure that I'm lining things up. And I'm not lining up right there. So let me, I need to, I'm using the adhesive that is not yet permanent. Um, There we go. And then I've got a another image that doesn't have an upside or a downside. And to be honest, I have no idea where this came from, but it could maybe, kind of hide under there and it gives another pop of that pink color. Okay, there. And then I've got this guy that might, um, might be kind of cute just layered on top of those. It's not, um, it's kind of been around the block a time or two. I've got this walking on sunshine, which might be cute down at the bottom. Let's look at, I've got this large blue flare. Actually, I might come over here with this hibiscus and I might even let it come out. And I know down in here somewhere, I have some leaves. Here we go. Here's a tropical leaf, part of that dreaming. Let's see, that's, it's too big. Let me see if I can find a smaller one. Okay, here's one. And it could kind of come in like that. And then maybe here's where I would use the hibiscus. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let those overhang because that's the top and it's going to be kind of protected by the page protector. So let me put a little bit of foam. It can stick up through the page protector, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I don't have to actually cut it off. There, so there. But I do want to hide all the white edges. I want all the white edges to be hidden. So I'm going to come right to the edge there, and then I'll find something to come in below there, or above there, or somewhere relating to there. This may take a minute to get around there. I was thinking that the border part might actually be okay. I'm going to put a little wet glue 
on there. I thought the border part might go quickly. Okay, that works. And then let me see if I can get something that is just for color. Um, right in over there. Uh, let's see. I have just kind of a random shape. Um, how about... There's another one of those same... Okay, I've got this little set of frames. And... Ooh, you know what? There's a ticket here. I don't know what the ticket looks like, but yeah, fly away. That sounds good. Um, I can, this I am going to cut in half and I'll use the other bit there, but I will make this line up with the edge and tuck underneath that leaf. Come on. It's, it's not cooperating. It must be hitting foam. So, that will work. That'll be fine. Okay, now, I'm gonna do right across here I might do something like the turtle let me get none of these things are is big enough I could do these two tags kind of like that that takes up some nice real estate there. It's gonna be easier going up and down the sides, I think. So let me staple these together. And then again, I'll kind of let them stick up at the top. Now I'm gonna use my frames Next, um, I'll use this pink one and I'll line it up with the edge and then I'll put something, I'll layer something on top of it. Now I'm really loving getting to use all these things up. How about the butterfly right there? We'll do a little bit of foam tape on there. And then I'm gonna look at my sticker sheet to see if I can find a tiny snowflake. I know that the snowflakes are all gone from this sheet. I can see that now. <laughs> um, let's see, I, I have this red one and this green one here. Um, Still not all that great. I think I had a button that was shaped like a snowflake. There we go. It's a pink button, and it's shaped like a snowflake. 
I don't know where it came from or why I have it. I don't remember buying it or getting it in a collection or anything, but it seems to be perfect for this layout. Okay, and I have this little tiny pink plastic jewel-looking butterfly that I will kind of place right there. Um, now, because I'm not worried about things going over the edge, I think I'm going to do this flare here and then decorate the top of it maybe with a, um, a phrase. I think I saw there's a, a gray phrase here that says Winter Wonderland. There's Let It Snow. There's... Uh, um, I'll find something. Fresh powder. <laughs> As if that's something we watch in, uh, in Georgia. Okay, so I've got that there. And what would be cute on there? I think I have a white squirrel. Oops, it moved right off. Okay. I'm going to pick this up and press it down that way because I really don't want to put uh, another layer of glue on there. I have this little white squirrel that was in the gift that I got from Suzanne Madison. You know what? I think I need a little bit of foam under there. Um, I want some shadowing under there. Okay. Let's see what else looks like I might want to use it. There is a bobby pin <laughs> in the ephemera from um, Rosie Studio. There's a bobby pin. And I hope that's facing the right way. There is a, I have a penguin here left from kind of a sheet of stickers. I thought I might do that down there. So not gonna do that. I, I'm gonna put the title on maybe as soon as I turn it around. I wanna leave it there. Um, just, okay, I've got, I need something to fill that corner. There's this little banner that says sweet thing. And if I put it, oh, no, no, no. Wonderful. That's a, a Paige Evans, I know. Um, I need to, what I can do is I can put it just slightly down from the top and then I can layer some things. That's why I put it on foam. I can layer some things under it that might be pretty. I could do something like that and cut it off. 
Let me do that. I'll let it overhang at the top and then I'll cut that. In fact, I'll do that with scissors right now. Let's see. Okay, that works. Now I'm gonna do another frame or tag or something that takes up a fair amount of space and I'll work down um, Let's see. I can do something like that. Actually, let's move this way. Well, there's kind of a line that the uh, editing, the, the filter, put in, so I'm not too far across that. Let me lift that up a bit so that I can squeeze this in. And then I'll do, I'll put that down and put a dab of glue along here. And then we'll see what to put in that frame. And then that'll tell me what I kind of need right here. Maybe a flower or this is um, an upside down flower pot. Come on. I'm going to cut the flower pot off. And I'm going to tuck that in right there and let it come out from under that banner. And let it kind of overlap the squirrel. And I think somewhere in here I had a, an acorn. Here it is. Here is the acorn. And the acorn would be kind of cute right there, maybe. Because that's so far from an oak leaf. It's kind of, um, you know, it's just silly enough. Um, what else could we use? Let's do another hibiscus maybe right here, or what do we want there? There's some pretty stuff. Ooh, okay. Here's just a plain old gold arrow. So let me do some foam behind that. So with that arrow pointing to it, I need something special right in there. And is that where we want the penguin? 
Okay, the penguin is facing the wrong way to go there. The turtle might be good there. Let's do the turtle. Sounds like a dance. Let's do the turtle. Okay, put that there. Oh, come on. And I've got some more. I'll let it kind of overlap right there. Let's do the title. I want to put the glue back behind the snowflakes because this is a, uh, it's, it's kind of clear, it's translucent. I don't want globs of glue, but really just the slightest little tackiness about it will stick because that's photo paper. And if you have any experience, <laughs> adhesive loves photo paper. And once it gets on there, it doesn't want to come off. So hopefully that's straight. Okay. Let's do another one of these flowers, maybe right there. And I'm going to put that one on some foam. And then we'll kind of go tuck things in and around later as we do this. Um, I've got some mountains and a polar bear and some things that we couldn't put on upside down. Um, or we could have. That might have been fun. But this is this is not that that's not what we're uh, we're doing here. And here, okay. I keep losing this guy. This penguin actually needs to go right there. And I'm gonna kind of just place it there. I'm going to do this piece of flare that has, it's a gray background, or if you wanna make it sound better, it has a silvery background and white trees. And it's really kind of cute. And I think it can go, where are my tweezers? Under the flower, but over the frame, and under the turtle. There we go. Okay. And now, I'm going to add in one of these um, butterflies. Just... as an accent. Oh, come on. I've got a little bit of uh, adhesive on my fingers from um, rubbing it out on the back of the title there. Okay, and do I want it there to fill that white space maybe? Or do I want it pointing up maybe? I think I like it that way. And I'm letting the um, bottom of this bouquet of flowers kind of hold it up in the air. So that's kind of cute. Okay, let me do, 
the sailboat kind of right here. And remember I told you that um, if it didn't fit the scene, well, that um, there are kids that come with those remote control uh, sailboats and, and other boats in that turtle pond. So it's not that far-fetched that we're dreaming of the days when we'll see that instead of ice on the ground, which would be nice. Um, I've got some wooden leaves. Would a pretty tropical leaf be cute right there? I'll, I'll think about that. That does, decision doesn't have to be made now. But I do want something up here. This is looking empty to me. So maybe um, a cute little tree. How about this little tree? And I'll pop it up and it'll contrast. Okay, that's cute. Now, we're kind of coming down here and I want something that fills in this area but doesn't um, negate or, or um, could be tucked under maybe the um, hmm how about if I had an igloo that can't tuck under the whole thing but it could go like that and that's not too much let me see if maybe I can lift that up. Nope, that was liquid glue and it is on there good. But I'm not hiding too much. Let me let this go off the page and I'll, I'll cut it off. I'm not hiding too much of the film strip. So I'm going to let that stay there. And the sailboat kind of overlapping the igloo is, you know, kind of goofy. But in keeping with where I'm headed on this, so let me cut that off just to get... Get that straight line there. Okay, and I think if I have this guy here, then I need, I want to layer up these mountains with this sparkly tree. See if I can create a little scene here. Let's see if we can do the tree in the forefront of the mountains and then the, the um, penguin in front of that. Okay, so the mountains go here, the tree Do I want it? Uh, I'll I'll put it here, and then I'll do I'll be able to do a um, you know, layer something along the side here. So this will kind of do some encroaching into the let me put a small bit of foam over on the side to balance that. Uh, let's see, it's gonna overlap the tree. So I kinda want the 
the shim <laughs> to be over here. Okay, and then this little pair of fish that came on that sticker set could maybe go And, and, you know, as I'm looking at it, it's going to make absolutely no sense to anyone else but me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm going to do that. And they appear to be swimming in the ice underneath the tree. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, here's another one of these frames that I can use and possibly should have uh, before I started this little scene set up here. Um, I can maybe do this right here. I think I can cut that off and maybe do it like this and then put something. This will tuck in behind the mountains and I can put a small embellishment Okay, let's get this lined up on the side there. There we go. It doesn't exactly line up. I should have left a little bit, but I've got all kinds of little tiny things that can go... Let's see, I have this little rainbow charm that wouldn't it be kind of cute if there were a rainbow there? Why not? We're talking random here, right? And Random it is. I'm gonna put maybe, I'm gonna put this, this little cloud behind the tree and have the rainbow kind of coming out behind the tree and in front of the mountains. How's that? Okay, now right here, it seems like I need something. How about, a red squirrel. Looks like the red squirrel's maybe getting up a little too close there. What else could go right there? And I don't want to be, I don't want to like take a bunch of time trying to be too literal with it. I could have something, if I had something like that that were just a little bit smaller. Uh, let's go through. I don't know if we should put something um, literal or ironic there. There's a pink camera that I think I'd like to use somewhere, so I'm gonna pull that out. Is there... That would be cute there, but I don't want it covering up the tree trunk. 
Um, let's see. There's a little circle here. Oh, a beach ball. <laughs> that, that's good. See, that's the that's the ironic. Let's introduce. And you know, I guess I could have looked at the um, at the sticker sheet. Oh, here we go. I have another little bird. And we could have a little bird right there. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Let me put these back over here. I keep putting my um, tools down on top of this way overcrowded tray of embellishments and I'm kind of losing, <laughs> they get lost there. So that's kind of cute right there. And I, you still see the trunk of the tree. Now, would the red squirrel, be kind of cute right there. I like it. Where's my little tiny piece of glue? Uh, let's see. I need it a little bit skinnier. That's a narrow bodied squirrel. This is a beautiful, shimmery, watercolor finish on this squirrel. It, I, you probably can't tell uh, as you're looking, but it's beautiful. I have to have that. so that the tail doesn't stick out over the thing. Okay, now I'm thinking it may look like we need some more tickets or something to kind of take up some visual space there. How about we do a Something like that and that. And then I cut off the sides there, but we tuck that under the frame. And then I'll, I'll put this one down straight on it. there and then I'll put the other one with a little bit of foam and I should be pulling from my foam tray Okay, now I'll cut that off and we'll see what we wanna add next. My turtle came down, so let me get some, <laughs> that was cute, with the glue rolling over. Uh, I think that's about where he was. Um, I think this was a little thing. The walking on sunshine is just really kind of cute. And maybe could go right there, but I have to see what else goes over here. And I'm 
I'm working on this, <laughs> this part. Right now I have to, I have to think about this. What are we gonna do? Oh, here is a, oh, okay. Here are some vellum pieces. That's a pretty piece right there. And it takes up a lot of space. So, I'm going to put that on there. And then I'll cut that off when I cut this off. So, I just now need to find something up there. And it seems like there are some leaf pieces that might be nice kind of coming that way and maybe i'll put one of those underneath here okay Another little bit of glue, make it tacky. And adhere it there. Okay, so now let's cut those bits off. might be easier for me to do it this way or this way how about that oops and there's a piece this is, this never did go really flush so I get a chance to fix that now Okay, now, I'm thinking that right up in this little area, I might want to put one of my small uh, faceted hearts just to kind of fill in a little bit right there. And I'm going to lift this vellum leaf up over that twine. Don't like that. So leave it the way it was. But I might make the twine shorter. And I could actually fringe it when it's that short. It kind of looks cute as fringe. So I'll just kind of tease it apart there with my tweezers. Okay, that's cute. Now, there is a... a little piece of ephemera in there that says I miss you. And I always... I'm a sucker for ephemera that says that because, because I miss him. Um, where what can I I want this to stay that the photograph as far as I'm concerned goes down to the edge there. So I could do something like this and 
maybe that kind of lift it up over it and I think I think I like I'm going to start kind of fitting it together like a puzzle almost um, I've got this little don't forget the little things which might work in a in a cluster there this is a coral formation and I thought that might be cute there, but let's see if I have any kind of square elements like, uh, where did those, here's a frame piece that could go here and this could maybe be overlaid on that and the walking on sunshine it's a very different pink so maybe it could go here and i need something there maybe there i do a little um A little grouping of those or I know what how about a blue tree flare or the gray snowman and let's see if I can make this work anywhere maybe I do like that coming out from the side. There's another coral formation here. Um, I could just do that, run that along the side. And I know there's no glue under here, so it could actually, why don't I just cut that? I think I can make a straight line there. You know, I think I like it on top of the uh, film strip. And then I might do this one from this corner. And then I'll have those tropical leaves. Here. And I'll cut the ends off. I want to use this somewhere, and I want to use this, um, what is that? Oh, that's a, a boat, another boat. How about this behind the boat? That would work. That works for me. Let's do this. Get this down. Uh, 
in that corner. And there's this. And how about the irony of putting a snowman flare kind of underneath the coral formation? We have to put the coral formation up on foam to do that. And I'll put it on two layers. I just kind of want it to, oh, what the heck. There, it can go like that. And then my, layer here. Is there anything else I really wanted to use? There's a lot of, snow globe cuteness. Now I need something for right there, but for, oh, how about the pink camera cut in half? Um, let's do and it's going to be at a little bit of an angle. Put it in underneath the coral. And kind of right there. Oh, that's cute. Totally different pink. So, um, in the The greens and other colors are kind of totally different. I'm going to use this little tiny guy just as a um, an accent piece. Kind of overlapping those, but right up next to the edge of the paper. And then... Let me do my boat on some foam. And then I'll put the life preserver behind it. We're coming into the final stretch here. I want this on a little bit of foam as it sticks out up at the top. And I have a little black squirrel. I knew I'd have to cut a little bit off of that. Okay. And then there's a ticket here for free hugs, which of course needs to be in there. And I've got The black squirrel there, where I, if I put a little bit of foam on his tail, he can overlap that ticket and collect his free hug. This is a complete experiment for me. I don't think I've ever made done one where I've gone around the 
the page. And to be honest, I don't know that I'll ever do one again. Um, I can use that on a different page. I've got this kind of random shape that somehow needs to go on there. I don't know where that came from or why it's out there, but I can possibly put a small cute sticker on there. There's this um, pine cone. I don't think, I don't know if that's an appropriate sticker for that. Maybe have it coming out there. A pine cone right up next to a couple tropical leaves. Okay. There's random for you. Um, that needs to be cut. The more I look at this kind of thing I have going on over here, the more I'm thinking I need to do something different. I like that. And let's see, we have this kind of a piece of a frame which could kind of partly go here. And then a a butterfly for which there is no explanation could go there. And then I've just got this little area and it could be, but well, this is too much, too close to the color of that. So, gosh, I've got so much stuff here. Um, well, is that where this guy could go? And then I just need something small there, like a seashell. <laughs> and the seashell could kind of overlap that. I don't care for that. Um, let's see. This is a fussy cut of a tropical leaf that I think I'm gonna glue onto here with this piece of foam I have in my hand and I'll cut the edges off and it'll overlap that coral then I will do this leaf here, and maybe this leaf kind of, maybe this group of leaves. Let's try that. I don't want it to interfere with the title, and it kind of has. So let me do that. And then this. Gosh, what a mess. What a mess. But I love all this stuff. So I did really don't want to get rid of it. maybe kind of hanging out the back like that and I've got this frame so I'll let it be kind of running under there and I'll cut all that off
and we'll do that and this little butterfly how on earth did i find the butterfly so this little I think that's a Bella Boulevard flower that looks like a Bella Boulevard style flower. That's not going to get used, I think. So, that guy goes there. Let me cut things off the sides and the bottom. Again, it might be easier if I turn it over and we'll just snip here. And here, I'm, I'm kind of telling you honestly here, I, I don't hate this, but I don't love it either. Um, maybe doing some around might have been a good idea, but going totally around, I don't think was the best idea. So I, I think I'm done putting stuff on it. Um, I'm a little, you can tell when I, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Um, I just can't see that adding anything else to it would make it any prettier. There are lots of things I like about it. One is I used all this stuff. And two is it does still draw the attention to the tree and it's just goofy enough to be something I would call a fun page, but I can't say it's my favorite fun page I've ever done. So here it is, <laughs> you be the judge. And thanks for joining me. Um, I'll try to come up with a better idea next week. <laughs> Bye.